I'm a senior investigator, and we are actually, actually, I'm an NIH distinguished investigator, and uh, our job here is just to do research. We look at the interactions of cells with the extracellular matrix and the two-way uh, information flow that, that takes place, where uh, the three-dimensional extracellular matrix can regulate a behavior of individual cells, but then cells themselves modify the local uh, microenvironment. And these are quite important in cell migration, in uh, formation of organs and embryonic development, uh, in adult wound repair, and of course in cancer, uh, where you have uh, cells that use some of these same processes, but for tumor invasion. These are uh, dissociated uh, mouse uh, salivary gland cells, and they actually undergo this spontaneous aggregation. You can see them aggregating. Uh, smaller aggregates will actually join the larger aggregates. So this is sort of a self-assembly process. Uh, you can watch them compact. And then what's particularly interesting is that they can then go on to start to undergo this branching process, uh, which is important in embryonic development. In the back of our minds is always the issue of, you know, how, how can we help patients? And so just to take this as an example, this is a mouse salivary gland. Uh, it's, uh, it has been disaggregated, but in fact, if you imagine, let's say, with patients who have uh, problems after radiation therapy uh, to the head and neck, uh, they lose salivary gland function, they have uh, all kinds of oral sores, uh, dis other disorders, uh, uh, caries, you know, tooth decay. And uh, what we would ultimately like to be able to do is to develop a, an artificial salivary gland. And several of us actually collaborated for a patent on an artificial salivary gland to make uh, that technology available, you know, so that it doesn't belong just to one company. Here's uh, one of our microscopes. It's a spinning disc confocal microscope, and it's uh, surrounded by an environmental box uh, where we can maintain constant temperature and humidity and uh, film uh, uh, three-dimensional cultures, uh, for example, cells or developing organs uh, in this environmental chamber. So I think the most enjoyable part is, uh, in fact, the ability to discover new things without having to follow a written script. In other words, we don't have to stick closely to, let's say, an R01 grant uh, series of specific aims. If necessary, if we think it's sufficiently important, we can branch out, we can go in new directions uh, just by choosing ourselves to do it. We're ultimately held responsible, of course, for what we produce. But we have these resources and the uh, freedom to explore new directions. And I think that's the most fun part. And of course, working with the, the younger investigators who are enthusiastic, have uh, wonderful new ideas. And so it's very enjoyable.